Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Tom Mitchell. I'm a uh, senior lecturer here at Leeds Beckett. Uh, I also work within the Doncaster Rovers Football Club Academy with players aged 9 up to 23, uh, partly as a coach developer which is supporting uh, the integration of psychological and psychosocial skills into coaching practice, so observing coaches, diagnosing coaching practice and supporting coach with ideas. Okay, that's me. Ben I'm Academy Manager at the Oxford Academy. I'm involved in uh, the development area of uh, both rugby league uh, and rugby union over a number of years. And uh, I'm now working in this area with uh, the rugby union. So I'll be leading on some of the practical elements within the actual session and, and almost giving an example of part of uh, a session we might do with some of our academy players and how we're trying to take it forward. When we do get on to that part, I will be asking uh, some involvement from you guys as well with some sort of questioning and some sort of involvement around and finding out uh, how we can match up to the team and how we can get on to the team. Thank you for yourself, everyone. Thank you for Yeah, I'll carry on. Okay, so we've really got three main objectives that we'd like to get through throughout this session. Um, firstly, we do want to provide you with a clear understanding of why you might want to consider integrating psychosocial development through coaching practice. Quite often it's done through workshops, before or after coaching, with participants. That's okay, but integrating into coaching practice is more meaningful because the coach is at the centre of all this. Okay. Um, the second one is uh, exploring how uh, practice design and coach behaviours might support the development of psychological and psychosocial skills. And thirdly, uh, being able to kind of identify some of those behaviours within practice. Okay, so you will be asked to do some, uh, do some activities and jobs throughout this session. Okay? Um, so who's got kind of experience of um, this kind of age group? Who's worked with this kind of age group before? Yeah, and uh, could I just get a very sort of uh, informal confidence level of how you might integrate these? Who, who regularly integrates or considers psychosocial development within their session planning? Is it a common thing? Is it done all the time? So yeah, some. So we've got kind of a mixture. Would that be accurate? Yeah. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Just so we know, this kind of is a little bit different one for me. But because of how we do some of the uh, some of the psychosocial sort of we like, we like to term them as skills as well as characters uh, because you can start off with them and you can get better at them the same as you might uh, periodise doing different skills in there. Um, quite awkward to me is that you're going to, to work and, and um, the lads are just, I think they'll enjoy doing it which is the main thing where you might have some different questions in there. Usually we start this with around there's no real wrong answers for them. It's around them exploring it, so we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, thanks. Uh, and we do have um, to support us as academics and support you as coaches. There are some frameworks that we can actually start to utilise. So, for example, within football, we've got a four corner model that has a bespoke psychological corner and a bespoke social corner. Um, we do further down that we have kind of some other models like uh, who's sort of like the five C's, Howard's five C's. So that's another model, PCDEs. Yeah, so we know we have models to support us but what we find as or certainly me as an academic and certainly what I find when the coaches that I work with is not really sufficient uh, practical guidance of what does that actually look like. And that sort of started the, um, the thought process of a session like this, really. So to give coaches some ideas. Um, I'm just going to give you a handout. So if we just ask uh, Dale, take one, pass it on if that's all right. Thank you. That's 
this one. Take one, pass it on. I'll oh, probably nick one. Brilliant. If you want to nick one as well, Ben, it's up to you. So what we've got coming round is um, essentially a mapping document of what we feel the needs are of uh, different participant age groups. Okay, so as you look at it and as it's coming round, we can broadly split participants in youth sport um, into sort of middle childhood, five to ten, probably start in different sporting activities. You could go to kind of um, adolescence, 10 to 14, so uh, early adolescence. You could also then go to kind of uh, later adolescence, so 14 to 16. Um, so the population we've got would fit down the middle column as you look at it, okay? Um, this is a document that's been generated by us as staff uh, and how we view children, okay? Um, I guess what you could say is there's a big bandwidth within children, so within any of these you might get children in a column below or a, or a column above at any given point, but these are broadly we think are the main sort of principles of children. So if you're looking at middle childhood 5 to 10, we want to encourage children to give activities a go, give new tasks a go, so as coaches we have to offer variety of experiences for example. You move through to adolescence, that's about supporting the understanding of self, who you are, what you're good at. And through to kind of 14 to 16, that's about regulating your own self, understanding your environment and how you fit into your environment. So for this, we're focusing down the middle column really, okay? Essentially there, the main psychological challenges are understanding self, understanding how you might solve problems, understanding your own strengths and weaknesses as an individual. And sport's got a massive capacity to help people develop those skills or competencies or characteristics as we might de de deem them. Also, these people in contact, so social challenges, understanding the environment around them. It might be working together with others which is a bit different to just simply sharing, which you might do with five and six and seven year olds. Okay, so I'm also a grassroots coach with seven year olds, so sharing and taking turns is a challenge sometimes. Um, different elements of communication is important, understanding others' communication and tailoring your communication to others, that's really important for young people to try and develop. If you just flip over, that might turn into competency. So when we start to piece together sessions, when we start to piece together curriculums, programs, whether that's grassroots, whether that's talent development environments, we can sort of start to deem these as competencies we feel are important to developing young people. Um, so for us, our Leeds Beckett language would be self-awareness, problem solving, goal setting, effective communication and recognising the role of practice. You might map that into existing models that we, that we see and that you've acknowledged that you've maybe heard of. Howard's five C's, those kind of competencies align to those and PCDs. So today we're going to show you essentially three different practices to try to develop some of these competencies. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you a, a framework to help you to explore some of those. This is a practical, I promise. Mm -hmm. so you just take one past that one. Yes. Okay, guys, so what's coming around is just simply uh, a sheet to support any observations that you make to help you frame some of those observations. Um, what I've got for you is the coaching practice planning and reflective framework created by Andy and Bob and people that also work here. Um, it allows coaches to plan and observe, which I'm asking you to do, um, task activities. So I would like you throughout the three games that you'll see is try to explore what task activities are trying to develop what psychosocial competencies. As the sessions are going on, I will be coming around talking to you, highlighting and explaining, while Ben and Andy are predominantly delivering. Uh, coach behaviours. So we'd like you to start to look at 
what coach behaviours Ben might be using or Andy might be using, which help to support the development of some of the psychosocial skills. And I'd like you to explore, where possible, player engagement. How are they engaging in these behaviours and activities? So this is quite a useful framework that we use for coach observation, we use for coach planning here at Lees Beckett. And I'm sure this is used elsewhere. Um, on the back, we've got uh, some reading just to support some of the content that we've created, which might be useful or might not. Okay, so that's there for you. Uh, and it's just essentially warming the individuals up now. They're just getting ready to come in and be able to start the session. Uh, Ben, are you all right to maybe introduce the first activity? Yeah. And I'll go and grab Andy or give him a wave. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. So I'll just hand it over to Ben. You might need this. Apparently for the video, I think we're uh, video in it. I was just going to shout really loud. Might work, yeah, it might work. Well, I'm just having a shout. There we go. It's like being a... Uh, referee putting one of these things on so you'll be able to hear everything on the video let's be careful um, ultimately when I, I, I haven't done much prep with the group when they first came in I introduced myself and spoke to them and, and I've kind of given them an outline that the, the different elements that we're going to explore today are going to be framed within the, the way of just a question and their role as a team and as individuals but bringing it together is for them to try and answer the question now I've not told them the question yet and the first thing that we'll do when the players come in and the, they get in their teams is I'll, I'll let them know the question and then it'll be that they'll have a couple of minutes in their huddle their own little bit of time for them to then discuss how they feel that they're going to answer the question um, the three it, it's quite typical of how we might uh, layer up um, working on skills or game understanding we'll play one game uh, we'll give them a chance to, to go away, reflect and review the, on their own performance. And, and I've done a session plan which is some of the questions on it that you, that you can have a look at hopefully as we go through. Um, the game itself will be, will be an offside touch type game. It's a, the, the question is around how they move the ball, so we're challenging there. It might not initially look like rugby, but it'll get towards rugby. Um, they'll review their own performance, how it felt, how they felt they were answering the question. And I, I definitely want to promote a show me the answer rather than tell me the answer. Now, it's important they have a chance to discuss it. And, and this is where you guys might come in and, and trying to, to prompt a question for them to en, en, uh, encourage that discussion. Um, we'll go back then into the same game to see whether they can build upon that, whether they can find any other ways to answer the question. Uh, and then when they get together, they'll actually be uh, trying to analyse what the, the other team were doing. So they're going to get a bit of a feel around that. And then they're going to share some of that information between them. So what did they think that the other team were doing? Does that marry up with what the other team said that they were doing? Where is, where's a common ground? And on the back of that, hopefully, um, within their review, we, we'll carry into the next game. Uh, which is then a slightly tweaked version of that game a couple of different things in there it's, it's can we still do them when those the rules of the game are, are pressuring them in a different way um, and those will be the the second round of it will be shorter games so there'll be short games um, and they're going, going to they'll have somebody outside of the game just filming some of it and it'll, so we'll have two minutes playing two minutes to look at the video and pick out good examples of it so both of the first two games ultimately around learning, learning what works, learning what doesn't work. The third game is then put it into what does look a lot more like rugby. Um, does it then beco become a bit more, it isn't performance because that's what it is, but almost let's challenge those skills, let's challenge that understanding. It's a bit of a chance for us to almost cover, observe how much they've learned within that time. And, uh, we would expect to run something over a, a block of a few weeks, whereas the question might change, but ultimately it, it's, it's layering the same understanding in different settings. So this will be the, the first one. Um, so we'll, we'll progress through uh, some of them. I'll just um, get these guys. Do you want to split yourselves into two even groups or get into, get into uh, I want two really good, have we, have we just been in groups? Okay, get two groups. Uh, one of your groups can go and get a uh, set of them excellent yellow bibs on. The, down there. We're gone. Don't worry about that. 
you come, guys. Adam, you all a better team? No. <laughs> yeah. Don't know what we're doing yet. Okay. In you come, in you come. So I'll tell you a question, and then even though you're now in two teams, together you're all going to have a chance to discuss how you think you're going to answer the question. So I'm going to give you, and I'm going to time you as well, I'm going to give you one, one minute, okay, and then we'll go in the game. So first of all, I'm going to tell you the game. All right, so when we go in there, you've probably played it. You might have even been playing it outside, which is it's a game of offside touch, okay, and you score. You can pass a ball in any direction. You can run with the ball. You can kick the ball. Yeah. All right. Uh, you score by getting the ball over the end zone. Okay. So somebody must catch the ball in the end zone. Any questions on that? Rugby net ball, but you can run. You know rugby net ball. Got him? You not? I wouldn't in here because have you noticed any of the things? So look to run, pass, kick. All right. So. The question that I want you to answer, all right, and I'll time you for a minute, is how many ways can we move the ball to go forward? Sure. There, you go. there you go, you've got a minute, I'll time you. Have you got a few ideas of what you're going to be doing? Yeah. Excellent. All right. If you get touched with the ball, okay, you've just got to put the ball on the floor and the other team can come and pick it up and they can attack from wherever they've got. Okay? We'll, pardon? No, you don't have to play the ball. If you get touched with it, just put it on and just step back from it. They can come and get it. You don't have to play it because they can come from any direction. Have you got any questions about the game? Pardon? If somebody touches you when you've got the ball, just put it down on the floor. The, only the opposition. Yeah? Let's move this one out. Okay. Good. You have to be past the ball over the line. Okay. Are we ready? Yellows have got the ball. Yellows can start with the ball. Let's go. We're playing, we're playing, yeah? Good. No points. Yellow ball. Don't tell me. I know the rules. I've even got them written down. Touch there. Good. Great listening, fellas. Great movement of the ball at the moment. That's good, you sort it out, fellas.
It's all right. Use them tactically if you want. You come with me a minute, and I want you just to watch and count the total number of passes by everybody. OK, so for the next one and a half minutes, you're not playing. You're just going to count it. OK, off you go. Stop there, stop there, okay. Right, what I'd like you to do now in your teams, all right, I've got a little bit of information I'll share with you after, but in your teams now, Andy has got a small whiteboard for each of you, okay. What I'd like you to do is have a bit of a chat in your team. Can I have two volunteers from any of you guys who are sitting on the sideline? Any two? Who goes one? Yeah, two. OK, so these guys are going to ask you a question in there. I want you to, to write your thoughts down on there. OK? Straightforward. All right, so before these guys ask you a question, just in your huddle, just have a little bit of a chat, have a little bit of a think about how the game went. So um, for you two, ultimately, all we're looking at is whether they're answering the question. So the fact that neither team have scored doesn't really matter so one of the guys I pulled out was counting just the total number of passes to give them a ballpark figure within it mm -hmm. but if you guys now they're doing the review here and they're reviewing going to review their own performance so if you just ask them what's happening and are we answering the questions and then just leave it and just say get the answer down and then what we'll do is just what's happening yeah, what's happening, what's happening? What's happening? are we answering the question because they should know the question that we've asked them okay. Okay. Do you want to take the black team? Yes. Here we go, let's go in here. We've we got a whiteboard. Yes, we've got somebody with a whiteboard. thing that within this is the fact that 
Well, their aim is to score points at, at each of the end zone. The actual aim of the session is for them to move the ball. So at the moment, neither team has scored by getting over the end. But we've seen loads of different ways of moving the ball. So, so far, we're trying to see whether they're actually recognising that they are finding different ways to move the ball, whether what the, what's been most effective so far, what hasn't been so effective, and if they've got any strategies really to get better. So if, if, uh, if this was our session, I'd be really pleased. We're seeing a lot of similar ways to move the ball, but in different scenarios under different pressure, but they're actually exploring different ways. If we're outdoors, obviously, they'll be able to kick as well, which would open a different dimension. But we're actually hitting our targets, our outcomes of the session of how many ways can we move the ball. So see what they come up with. They've got another 40 seconds of their little team review. <laughs> One of us is always behind the opposition. So if we can get up, someone just run around there quickly. So how do you turn that round into what was happening in the game? Because everyone was all muddled up when they were. Yeah, everyone was all muddled up. Yeah, everyone was all muddled up. You've got, what you've got now, I think you've got some really good answers in there, and because you're understanding what's happening in the game, hopefully you've got some solutions to help you get better within the game. Yeah. All right, so we're going to keep these secret from the opposition. All right, yeah. they're in the next part going to try and see and work out what you're doing. You're going to try and work out what they're doing. Okay, it's the same game. All right, we're going to put that to the side. Keep it, Andy will keep it secret. Okay. All right, good. So. Hopefully, and, and just hearing bits and seeing what you've written down there, uh, you've got some good things which kind of reflect what's happening. And hopefully, by understanding what's happening, that means that you're able to have a bit more of a plan about how to get better in the next time you go into the game. Now, at the moment, we're going to keep them secret to your team. You're not going to share that with them because you've got some tactics on there about how to beat them, I bet. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the game. This time, put your tactics into practice that you've discussed about how we can get better. But try and see what it is that they're doing as well. And when we come together next time, we'll have a chat. You can then see what they're doing. And we'll see if what you identify they're doing is written on their board that they are doing. And vice versa, see if they can identify what you're doing, OK? Any questions for me? Any, any questions for me, yellow team? Um, Before we yeah, go back any, into is it? Is there any offsides? No? Alright. Okay. Great stuff. How did you find it? Hey? How did you find it? Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Very responsive, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, really good. Very good solutions already. Yeah, yeah. Pulling back to what's happening, suddenly there's a, a, a loads of things are happening. Yeah. The solutions will come later. Let's analyse this bit first. Yeah, really. fantastic. Because yeah. Because in the beginning, you grew up, it been. You know, when I asked the question, they were all good to answer. But then, as soon as they first answered, all of them get to stuff thanks guys okay we're gonna go into the next part of this game same rules hopefully oh here we go we've got some what have we got going on here I'll lift it up by the way who was uh, who was counting for me then just list, listen a little stat for you who was counting so how many passes of the ball were there in in a third of what was going on, how many passes in total? This is everyone. Uh, everyone, I was like 35. 30, so 35 passes in around a third of that game. Okay. So uh, if we brought that up, they'd probably say there's about 100 passes within the whole four minute in the full four minutes because we kind of it's a third of it. All right. So let's see. At some point, I'll pull somebody out again. Okay, just to count, just to see whether that's something that we can we can look to improve. All right, four minutes, same game. Black is starting with it. You ready to fill the field? Let's go. Nah, no, definitely touch that one. Let's remember to play within the uh, rules. Ooh. Very close. Good positioning, good positioning. I like your tactics. Black ball. One point, one point. Attack that way. Attack that way. Did you, did you touch him? 
Did they touch you? Why did you give him the ball? Was that a pass? Do I need to do the same more? Okay, one point then. Yellows attack back. One point. Two one. You're on two one. Touch. Oh, good defence. Love the movement of the ball. Next time, the top of the camera is where you want to hit it. Oh, lucky. Would have been a two point play. Okay, caught in field. One pointer. No, three. Good, good. Give you a two pointer there, I think just about two points in that one. Okay, can you come out to me and I want you to count every single pass that's happening from now on, okay? So there's a third of the game left. Black ball. Still black ball. Well, you pass them the ball then. <laughs> One point. One point. Interception, good reading of the game. Three points. Stop it there, time. Okay, quickly get into your two separate teams. Can I have two more volunteers, please? Two different people. Okay, so I'd like each team to get a different a blank, iP uh, blank um, notepad from. Can I have another coaching volunteer? There we go. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is just pick a team each this time. If you ask them, uh, and just after you've asked a question, just let it be quiet, let them come up with it. And just ask them, um, what are the other team doing to help answer the question? Because we're still focused on the same question, how do we move the ball to go forward? What are they doing well to answer the question? They can make and a few notes around. Do they need to write down? Yeah, so they sh they'll end up with um, a little iPad each, and uh, a little, sorry, if we, it should be a fresh one for them to uh, use, and then we'll compare. We'll compare across different ones. So, so this time they're they are asking a question about what are the opposition doing to answer the question. Did you write last time, Kieran? No. Are you are you taking charge? Have you got the neatest writer? Freddie wrote. Freddie wrote last time. Okay. Anyone different? That's fine. Yeah. Oh, they were just down that way. They cut their head, face face, and they cover the only way. And then they had to be very hard. Tom, can you hear? 
Harry. So, uh, just at the moment, they are ask the first time round when they were answering the question was around what they were doing. So, what was happening? What did they feel? What did they think was happening at that time? This time, they're saying, what are they doing to answer the question? So, they've kind of done a bit on themselves. They're doing a bit on their opposition there. We're going to kind of cross-reference some of the answers that they've got about what they think they're doing and what they thought they were doing, and then give them a chance to, to have their own huddle again, just to kind of... I'll, I'll put it to them around, like, let's pick out the best examples of what worked to answer the question. It'll be their huddle then to come up with some strategies leading into the next game, which will be ever so slightly different. So there's a bit of cross-reference about what did we do, what have they been doing. for the session, the theme for the session, just how many ways can we move the ball to go forward. Okay. So ultimately all we're going to do is we're going to change the game next and we're going to layer up that on top and it'll be a different game. What have we learned from that one that we can apply to this game? It's still, it's starting to look a bit more like rugby but there are different constraints on it based on how the opposition can defend. In, in an ideal scenario we then finish with rugby and say what is it, what it, from what you've done today, in this moment in time, what, what is excellent, what does excellence look like? Yeah. Right, if that's excellent, whatever it is to come up with, it's up to them to identify, right, how many times, how can we perform excellently now when now it's rugby? See what they come up with. So following on from it, the week after, the likelihood would be um, how many ways can we move the ball to move defenders? So in the same kind of skills and the same kind of thing but with a slight different focus would they change anything or not so we're layering on probably over a six to eight week the, the moving ball finding out what works what doesn't work what transfers to rugby well uh, and hopefully over a period of time they've got an idea of if you ask them what are your strengths when we're playing games they've got an idea or a global idea of something that's they can kind of nail themselves to a flag and say we're really good at this and then we'll build some tactical, how do we get that into the game, how do we play the game. And the first period of play, would you consider it normal that that looked more like rugby than the second one? Um, sometimes, sometimes, I don't know this group at all, so some, some teams will play rugby type games all of the time and when they've got freedom of movement, even on the part way through the second game said, is there an offside? Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. like, there isn't, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. explore it, you know, and, and so not, not much has changed. Be clear, they both got the same question, right? Yeah. What what can we learn? What did the others do what well? The, yeah, so what to answer the main question. Okay, so, so it's very interesting that the there's a bit of a, different things is that there? happen. Yeah, 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 it's good, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it comes together, hopefully there's a bit of a, yeah. a, bit of a thing. Right, so we'll bring it together now. Okay, do you want to come in together, guys? Do you want to get your secret one as well as your the, the one you've just done? Team, black team, do you want to bring your b other board as well that you did first time? And we'll bring it in together. Fantastic, thank you very much. Um, in you come, guys, in you come, team. 
Forgive me, I'll probably have me. Uh, in fact, I'll go over here. Okay, let's come in. Let's come in. Have you got both your pads? All right. Let's let's turn around so I could see you. You, you could come on this side here. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you now is. Um, so we'll we'll. Black team, I'm going to ask you, what were the yellow team doing to, to, to answer the question? What was the question? What's the question? Pressuring us and lobbing it over our What's the question? What's the question for the set whole session? What are you doing? Oh, different ways to pass forward. Yeah, yeah. What difference is ways to get How many ways can we move? the ball to go forward. So what were they doing well to get the ball to move forward? Is that what you, tell us what you've got because there'll be some good stuff in there. Listen, listen because he's telling you what you've done, pretty much how you've answered the question. Can I ask you a question? Was it effective? Yeah. In a way. Okay. Yes, it was right. extremely effective. So what? If, if you go back to the first first board that you did about how you guys were answering the question, what did you have on your first board about how you were answering the question? Not the second board, but the first board that you did. Uh, not you guys. So you've told them what you think they were doing. This is what they think they were doing in the first game. Okay, so is that something you've changed? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, said we didn't really pass much way back all the ball, but He's running with the ball away of moving the ball to go forward. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Not, I mean, we were kind of running in. It's not as effective. All right. So we won't really run this way. But was, is it a way of moving the ball forward? But yeah. It's, so it's that's a success. What else were you doing in the first game? So in the second game, how did you change? Spread out. Spread out a bit, which I think came through with how they were saying that you were, had people to actually pass the ball to. Let's have a think about, so let's see what you just picked up there. So you just had a conversation before about how the black team were answering the question about how the black team were, were moving the ball to go forward. So what did you come up with about what they were doing? They were intercepting yours. Yeah. yeah. What? What else? What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it was a bit of defensive stuff. Did we get much into how they were answering the question about how how they moved the ball to go forward? Okay. All right. Let's hear from you guys. What did you recognise? How were you answering the question in your first game? So what was happening, and how were you moving the ball to go forwards? You wrote. Yeah, I can. Yeah, Um, if we were attacking anyone. Let's listen. Let's listen. Anyone who gets over the line, um, you'll try and pass to either by doing a movement such as the scissors. So did that lead into what you were then trying to do, get or people to go through? Passing to and four. And we would also do this two and four to each other until the person has time to get behind the line. Yeah. Okay. What, what we're going to do now, all right? Put your boards down for a second. Just put your boards down on the floor for a second. It's your huddle now about identifying what you felt were the best ways of moving the ball to go forward. And what I'd like you to do is try and put those methods of moving the ball to go forward into the next game. Once you've got an idea of it, I'll tell you how the game's going to change, OK? So it's up to you. You have a chat. Get together. Yellows. All of you together, please. Get in. All of you together. 
are we answering the question? Are we answering the question? Who did that? Yeah. So, okay. Have a think about what's the best way to answer the question to carry over. into game two yeah so we need the uh, iPads yeah. and we will go four on four are you comfortable with this I mean they're getting some really good little conversations all good yeah I'll just seeing. keep I'll just keep going with with the games that are on here yeah. some of the stuff is just I think because it's I'm trying to get a bit more detail out of them perhaps than the age group dictates but they're getting some good points within yeah. the group so the, the task is facilitating a lot of engagement yeah yeah and yeah, yeah very much so yeah uh, and the challenging one thing that um i've been surprised at, they've been challenging each other a lot on it which uh, might just be that they've not got scared about doing that yeah. at that age so it's good okay here we go we're going to go into game two Okay, let's get these let's get these notepads off. Let's get the pens off. Here we go. The other team, let's get this off. We don't need it. Get it off the field. Can you come? I'll tell you the girls. Can you come? Okay, one minute focus. One minute focus before we go into the game. All right. Uh, this game is going to be four v four. All right. That means that yellows, you're going to end up with two people off the field. Blacks, you're going to have one person off the field. The people who are off the field, okay, you're going to have an iPad. You're going to film your team's attack. All right. Does that make sense? All right. Film the attack. All right. The idea of this game is attacking team have to play rugby in the traditional sense of it. So you must pass the ball backwards. The defensive, Adam? No. All right, so the defense can turn you over by tagging you with a rugby ball. All right, so if you've got the ball and I tag you, I can't throw it at you. I can't throw it miles or anything like that. But if you're attacking, all right, and you're playing like rugby, you don't have to. You can pass the ball around however you want, forwards, backwards, over the top or anything. But you've got to remember, the only way you can stop these guys scoring is by tagging the ball carrier with the ball. How do you know if they're attacking and you're not? How do we know if they're attacking? Yeah, and because I'll say who's attacking. So I'll say yellow attack. Yeah, so... Yellow team, let's have two on the sideline. Can we have uh, a, an iPad with the one yellow team? Who's going to who's going to film? You're filming. Okay, you go and see. Harry, you could film the first one. So, grab that other ball there, please. I'll let you attack first. Okay. Black team. The, come in, listen. Okay, these are short games, so two minutes, because you're going to play two minutes. You're going to go and see your video. You're going to identify the good bits of, from your video, okay, and that's what's going to give you a mark about how you can get better within it. All right. Black team, you're defending first. If at any point you touch the ball player, Okay, I'll go. Reset, black team attack. Equally, if you're defending and you touch the ball carrier with the ball, I'll say reset, yellow team attack. All right, you're attacking first. So make sure you're filming the attacking parts of your team. All right, because when you review, you're reviewing them. Yeah. Are we ready? Black team defending. Yellow team attacking. We get the timer on. Two minute game. Let's go. No. Reset. Reset. Black team attack. Not that way. 
Reset, yellow team attack. Reset, wait, wait. Let's give 10 seconds, okay. Black team attack. No, try scored there. Turn it around, black team, go to your line, you're attacking again, black team attack. Ready, go. Okay, reset, reset. You grab that ball. Reset, yellow team attack. Okay, give the ball back. Try there, yellow team back to the start. Black team wait. Yellow, you've got, you haven't got a ball. Wait, yellow team, yellow team, you scored. You're still on attack. Try scored, back to the offside, yellow team. Yellow team scored, yellow team are still on attack. Let's attack, yellows. Reset, stop. Black team attack. Stop, reset. Get back, yellow, wait. Okay, yellow team attack. <laughs> okay, get one. As soon as you get back to the start, you could go. As soon as he gets back, okay. Try tagged in the act of scoring. Okay, teams, yellow team, go and have a look at a review of your video. Black team, go and have a look and speak to a review of your video. Are we answering the question? Okay, so have a look at your attack and see whether we're answering the question. How many ways can we move the ball to go forwards? Okay, so let's have a look. Remember what the question is, is how many ways can we move the ball to go forwards? What are you doing? Okay, I want to hit. good examples within there about how you can use the ball to go forward no. okay one of you says yes so let's let's explore that what was what was working see if you can identify what what were the best ways around how we move the ball to go forward what they were looking What happens if they're not looking? How can we share that information? Because they don't know us, they're not looking, they have no idea, they're not switched off, we're switched on, we're going to try. Okay, so if they're not looking, how can you share that with your teammates or they know? They just tell them that they're switched off, we can go. Yeah, yeah, are you going to tell them where they can go? Say run on the wing, just run where the ball is, the opposite side of where the ball is. Great, does everybody know that? And who does know it? Can you share it? Yeah, we know. Share it then. <laughs> last 20 seconds, last 20 seconds, we start again. It's interesting you when know, there's a defensive situation. Where you why don't you just pass it to him? Yeah, yeah. It's my job to, yeah. yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. So if you're lined up and you, if he's going, it's always like, why did you, if the guy in the end has got the ball, why have you got the ball in the middle of it? Yeah. But it's exactly what you see when the play yeah, rugby is. Yeah. I'm going to tackle him past you, past you, and I've missed the tackle, and you've not been able to do it, and he's not been able to do it. And so. yeah. Okay, here we come. Back into the game. Let's have two new people filming yellow team, one new person filming black team. One, two, three.
two, three, four. Who's, who's not filmed so far? Have you filmed yet? Yeah. Who's not filmed? Somebody volunteer? Isaac filmed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Good delegation. I like it. Ready? Reset. Black team are attacking. Black team are attacking. Stop. Reset. Yellow team are attacking. Try scored. As soon as you all get back, you can go. Wait. Okay, black team are, are defending. Yellows are attacking. Let's uh, bring it back to the middle. No try, but black can start with the ball. Reset. Black team attacking. Black, go. Not tagged with the ball, so remember I mean, you've got to tag it, can't throw it. Reset to the back, Black, you're still attacking as soon as you get back. Go! Touch with the ball, okay, go back, Black, reset. Reset. Yellow team attack. Yellow team attack. Try there, yellow team, re go back. Blacks. It's a yellow team attack. Let's go, yellows. Score there, yellows. Reset back to your line and then you can go. Come on, black team. Oh, I think we've got a reset there. Okay, it's going to be a black team attack. Let's go. Stop! It's going to be a reset, yellow team attack. Why? Forward pass. Forward pass, OK, good. Let's go, yellows. Yep. OK, let's reset. It's a black team attack. Go. Stop, reset. It's a yellow team attack, because you tagged with the ball. Last 20 seconds of attack. I will stop it there. Stop. Go and have a look at your videos. Have you got on your video a better way to move the ball to go forward than last time? Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, we'll look at the video. We want to identify the, a better way of moving the ball than we had last time. Let's identify a better way of moving the ball than we had last time. Have you, have you picked out any good bits of attack? So, in attack, what's the question we're looking at? What's the question? What's the question? What's the question? What is, what's the question for the whole session? Yeah, okay. So, are, are we, are we show, have we seen some good examples in there? Why, what, tell me, talk me through a good example. Is, um, sure, find it, shows. Right now we're not. Okay, you guys, so are we answering the question? Have we found some good examples of how to answer the question? Okay, talk us through. What's, what, what, when we're defending, we need to communicate. That's not the question. No, I know, but. Okay. And when we're attacking, we need to know, notify of each other's position. Yep. Because when people are those, like, you don't know they're behind you. Right, they're free. They can just run down that way. You can run down it. I will. Okay, last game. 
Last game, we're going to go back into it. Uh, black team. Black team coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we go. Okay. We've got one last roll of this game. Black team, I'd like you to have a chat in your team. I'd like you to identify the best player in their team. Okay. Yellow team, I want you to do the same. I want you. In your yellow team, I would like you to identify who the best player is in your team. You've got 10 seconds. I just told them just to mix it up because it's a bit one-sided. Who's the best player in their team? I'm just going to swap them over just to see, just to mix it up. OK, hands up who you've picked as your top trump best player. Harry? Harry, who's filming? Harry. Oh, Harry's our best on their team. Who's the best on theirs then? Um, Isaac. OK, swap. Swap. Isaac. Swap. Swap over. Swap bibs. Here you go. OK, we're ready to go. Last two minute game, this. Film crew, are you ready? Two minute game, okay. How many ways can we move the ball to go forwards? Let's let's think about what we've seen on the video, what we've done. Listen, let's think about what we've seen on the video, what we've done, what are the best things we've seen that we could put into the game, okay? Reset, give some space. Yellows can attack. Yellows are attacking. Go! Okay, reset, reset. Okay, blacks are attacking, let's go. Try there, blacks, get back to the start. Once you get back, you can go. Yellows, you're defending, let's go. Try there, we've got to tag them with it. We can't launch it like a rocket. Use the advantage, what can you see? Nice play, moving the ball into some good spaces. Yellow's defending, let's go. Reset, blacks come back, yellow attack. Okay, reset. Yellow's come this side, blacks attack. Now we've got to tag them with the ball. Wasn't me, sir. Wasn't me, sir. <laughs> All right. Do you want to uh, come out for a sec? Okay. Yeah, just swap with the video. Okay, just just rest it up a minute. Wait. Blacks go back. Yellows. Yellows. Okay. Yellows. What? Stop. Yellows, how can we turn them over? Uh, I turn, I turn. We need no, how can we turn them over? We need to be not say the name, say the person with the name. No, no, how can we get turn them over so they're not attacking? By, By, yeah. you say the By what? By guessing. How do we get them? Yeah, you say, you say the No, how do we get you say, them? You say the person's name, they're going to pass it to them, they'll be ready, and then they can... Simpler. How do we stop them attacking? You're defending, so how do you stop them attacking? What? Tap them with the ball. What are we doing at the moment? No, throwing it. Yes. Okay. Last 30 seconds. Black attack. Let's go. Well done. Reset, blacks. So. Did you score that? Put it down. You didn't even put it down. It's gone backwards. Well done. Okay, time. Okay. In you go to have a look at your video. Okay, this is your last review before we put this under pressure. So have a look at your video. 
okay? Separate out a little bit. Okay, I want you to look, are we answering the question, how many ways can we move the ball to go forward? Just find examples of that. Okay, and again, how many ways can we move the ball to go forward? You alright, Jack? Yeah. You'll survive? Good man. He might not survive. He might not survive. Yeah. Nobody survives. Medi are you a medic? My dad's a medic. Your dad is? Yeah. Are you your dad? I'm not half, yet. I'm half Happy dad. dad. Brilliant. Okay, use that half to diagnose, not the daft half. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's find some good examples about how we're moving the ball to go forward. I know you guys have quite a bit of defending in the game, but can we still pass the ball to go forward when we're defending in that game? Or move the ball to go forwards? We can, because how do we turn them over? How do we stop them attacking? Okay, so does that mean we have to move the ball to where they are? Yeah, so okay. you need to shout the person's name that you're going to pass to and then they'll be ready and then they'll be to the first part I got, that was brilliant. All right. Did we do much of that? No. Okay. So it's probably something to work on, but did we ha find some examples about how to move the ball to go forward within the video? Fantastic. Great stuff. Keep those thoughts. When we're looking at this now, are we seeing loads of different ways around how we move the ball to go forwards? Yeah. I saw them there. So I want to make sure that you can see them here. So I've seen them just in the game. Okay. Uh, have a little think. Have, find a few examples that you think are good ways to move the ball to go forward. All right, and we're going to ha uh, you have a shared huddle in one moment. Okay, teams, here we come, stand up. Here we come, we need to transfer some of these things, okay? Here you come, all right? Just give us the balls a minute. You want to do full contact? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, we, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, listen. All right, you've got two minutes now in a team. And what I want you to do is, is pick out all of the best ways that you think that you've got to move the ball to go forward. So whatever you've come up with in all of the games so far, I want you to come up with something and you go, the best way to move the ball to go forward is, and I want to have an answer so I can look out for it in this next game. All right? Sure, yeah, one last one. Your huddle. No, together, 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 together. In you get. Okay, okay team, super team, okay that's one minute, that's your minute, alright so listen up, let's get it because all right, when you play on a Sunday, is it blacks versus yellows? No. no. All right, when you play on a Sunday, what is it? Blacks versus yellows. Whoever, okay. So this next point is really important around what you can transfer, guys, what you can transfer onto your Sunday game. So in this next game, which is going to be more like rugby than the other ones, what is going to be the best way that you're going to show me that you can move the ball to go forward? What's good about drawing and passing? What does that mean? How? Why? Because you draw the map. What does that mean? It means, so if you're running up... Just listen, because these guys have got some great points. If you're running up to someone and someone's yeah. coming at you, yeah. then you pass it to someone else, then the other person hasn't got to worry about two men. How do you do that then? Listen, this guy's got a great point. So if Tom? I, if I was going up to Isaac, yeah. I'd go. <laughs> yeah, you do. You all right? Pass it, and he's. Why is he ticking you there then? 
Because he's the opposite. He's running straight at him. He's I'm running straight at you. And if he tigs you or tackles you and you've passed it, what's that created? A space. A chance. A chance. Yeah. All right, that's what we want to do, isn't it? Then, 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 I don't have much time to react and be like... Well, if you're tackling him, you've, you're out of the game, really, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. OK, listen up. So the last game, this is the last game and it's a longer game. All right, listen. Yeah. Last game, let's have okay. focus. Focus, OK? Wait, well, is it the same that we were doing before? No. Okay. You know what time it is? It's 5v5, no. It's 5v5, it's, it's a stopwatch on it. 5v5, all right. Uh, defence must come back two metres every single time. So if I make a touch, straight away I've got to get two metres. That's two metres, all right. The person who's been touched must pass the ball around their waist twice before they can pass it. Can you say when the person's been touched? I'll say, I'll say touch. That's probably all I will say. But what I want you guys to do is at the end of the game, listen. At the end of the game, uh, I want you to review how well those skills were of draw and pass, which is what you want to do. I want you to give us a score out of 10 about how you did in there. This is putting that skill under pressure now. All right, what's your point? Um. <laughs> Have we answered it? Yeah. You know when we... Yep. Yeah. And they're doing it the yeah. opposition. No. Taken. You've got to go back two metres. Okay, you can only go once he's passed. Okay? Black team, your huddle, you've got 30 seconds to talk tactics. Yellow team, 30 seconds to talk tactics. 30 seconds to talk tactics. Yeah, six minute game, that's it. stuff and if the, it, the if you want and they can ask about how we do it anyway that's all it is just tag two handy tag okay great tactics by the way you come here where's he gone come here come here no get over there you get over there okay you here you what's your tom all right pips is a stone Oh, da, 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 da. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. So okay. rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors. No. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Come on. Do it. Rock, paper, scissors. Wait, do it again. No, no. You did it on... You've got to go rock, paper, scissors. Sure. Oh, so you have to do yeah. rock, paper, scissors. That's it. Go on. Rock, paper, scissors. Go. Oh, go again. Did you lose? No. Go, go, and, go and pass that information to your teammate. So if you get tugged, you pass it around your waist twice and yeah. carry on. And then, and then pass it, you've got to pass it after. Like, oh, yeah. it, so if, if I do that, you have to pass it. Is it two handed or one two handed? Two handed, two handed touch. And does it pass? You're attacking. Does it pass on top? It's round your waist twice and then pass. Ready, defence? I'll let you know when a touch has occurred. Let's go. Touch! Give him some yards, keep going back. Round the waist. That's all right, let him do it, let him do it. It's okay, let him do it. It's good skill practice. Good lad. Well done. Not touched, not touched. Okay, turn over. Ready to your defensive line? Let's go. Okay, yellow ball, straight out. Throw it out, ball's in. Go. Go. One. Back two meters, back two meters, that's it. Play on. Touched. Back two meters. Back two meters. Playing advantage, black team. Are you back two meters? Wait. Black team, black team, wait. It's your penalty here. Yellow team, 
We had words up there about how we defend. Okay, stick to the rules. Don't want to get the yellow cards out. Touch. Back two meters. Touch. On the line. Touch. Play on. Play on. Okay, bring it out. Okay, black black team. Black team down to the middle. Okay, yellow team, you can bring the ball out. Here we go. Touch. Remember, just touch. Think about how we can be most effective after we've passed the ball. Are you okay? Sure. Do you want to film it? Madam? You okay? That's one handed. I was just one handed. Two handed touch. The clues in the name, young Thomas. Touch. Two meters, give him space. Touch. Come two meters. gamesmanship in this fellas for 11 year olds there's all sorts of cheating going on go back two meters well done good ball control well held well held two meters start again well done good control good try I'll give you that try I'll give you that try there you created enough space for it Okay, okay, just attack while he's dancing. Hey, it's a way of moving the ball, I'll give you that. Is that two meters? Yeah, good control of your team. Touch. Touch, touch, bring it back, black ball, bring it back. On your line, yellows. Oh, look it. Touch. All right. Try not to dive, still black ball. Last minute, last minute, think about our focus question. Touch. Are we two meters? Are we behind him? You can go back. You, he's got to stay here. Go back a bit. He's got to stay here. <laughs> two meters. Yeah, well spotted. I think that were touched, and by two of them. Okay, so it's still his ball. It's his ball. <laughs> Try there. Okay, go black, yellow ball, yellow ball, attack, and attack while they're celebrating. Go. Touch, 20 seconds to score. World Cup final. Four points behind. Touch, get back. Touch. Time. Touch. Try there. Five point try. Win the World Cup final. Time. Stop. 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 Okay, team. Okay, both uh, yellow team and black team. Getting your own team separately, okay? I want you to answer the question, all right? Within that game that you just did, what was the best way that you 
move the ball to go forwards? What was the best way? You've got 30 seconds together, you've got 30 seconds. What was the best way you moved the ball to go forwards? Okay? And your team? 30 seconds. I want one thing that you all agree on. Okay, that's time. Make sure you've got one thing you all agree on. One thing you all agree on, okay? In we come. In we come. All right. Just come around, come around, okay? So, black team, you could go first. What was what was the best thing you did? We went up on the line and we were pushing. When we had the ball, we kept going forwards and pushing them back to Brilliant. So, when you break that down into the different parts, how were you moving the ball doing that? Uh, passing. Passing? Uh, get everyone in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, some really good things within there. Okay, yellow team. Yeah. Um, really, our defence. Our defence was in. The what was the question? What did we do well? What did you do well in order to move? What was the best thing you did to move the ball to go forward? In the end. So you created gaps to pass to. All right, you said that your standard of excellence from everything else, you said the best thing that you could do from looking at the video and the rest of it was around your drawn pass. Out of 10, how do you think your drawn pass was? That's what you, you, your terminology, your choice, how good was it if that's what we were going to go on in that game? About five? Ten About out of ten. Ten? Eight. Do you really eight. think ten out of ten? Five. You think five? Okay. So somewhere, listen, let's finish it off. If if you were then gonna carry this into Sunday and you're between a five out of ten and a ten out of ten, or five between five out of ten and eight out of ten, what would you work on to help improve that? How would you do it? You guys, so you're, I'm not going to be there Sunday, so you talk about yourselves how you're going to improve from a 5 out of 10 to something better for Sunday, okay? Return to the kind of things. Out, yeah, out what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were we trying to do? Perfect. To see. Yeah. And then a, a Q &A. Great stuff. Uh, make sure that you pass that information you've just discussed on to your coaches, because they'll be the ones who see you before Sunday. Okay. Thank you very much. I think a round of applause for all the players and some great stuff in there. Great stuff, well done. You can take the bibs off and you can put them over on the side, you can put the balls on the side. Make sure you've uh, got your water bottles and taking plenty on. And then somebody, somebody will come and get you, so you don't need to go anywhere. Just wait here, someone will come and get you. Oh, here's Andy. Adam? Did you want to do a Q&A? Uh, yes. Well, from a time perspective, do you want to have a look back? Yeah. Okay, we'll give you the opportunity. Do you want this back? Uh, yeah. Is there anything you'd like to ask the boys while we're still here? Yeah. Yeah. Lads! Lads! about haircuts, that's for sure. You go to the same barbers as me. So what, 
the question was, what's the most enjoyable part? What was the most enjoyable part through the session? Absolutely. Playing. From my experience with, with 15, 16 year olds, it will vary between some. So some people will be really tuned to it and when they go in they'll, leave, they'll take charge of some of the huddles. Some of the other guys, from being indoors to getting out onto the field, will have forgotten what it is. So it, 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 you know, it's expected that some go, oh, yeah I did think a bit, and some have probably gone, what was the question? So yeah, I would expect some of that.
group. So um, if you're looking at where we're going, if this was planned in if, and instead of a one-off session, you're wanting them to, to recognise something that actually picked something out of all of the different ways. So they're, they're coming up with all different ways of how they can move the ball and we're trying to refine it at each level of it, saying, well, what did they do that was you know, within it? What did we do? And you're kind of saying, what did they do well and where can we improve? And eventually get into a point and, and we would, I would plan it over a series of probably six or eight weeks of slightly different questions. How many, how many ways can we move the ball to go forward? How many may, ways can we move the ball to move defenders? How can we move the ball to find space? And it's kind of the same question, but there's a different slant on it. So the, 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 they're starting to add up different parts of it. Um, if they come away with something that they believe works, you've got a start point as well so even if the, at the start of the huddle we're saying this is the question okay think about what has already worked and let's see whether it, it still works can we find other ways to do it so you're wanting them to explore something so that we like to think around six to eight weeks we could sit the lads down and say what almost what are our strengths what do we do well for over the past few weeks what do we do well and if they come up with or whatever it is they come up with in some ways the pressure on us to go with that which is what we want it challenges us as coaches as well and then we've got to find ways for them to demonstrate their strengths so almost design the sessions on the back of if if our, what that's what our strengths are how do we design a session to 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 bring out them strengths or to practice them strengths get better at them strengths and then how do we incorporate them strengths into our playing strategy uh, now the group we're working with they're not having regular games for us so it, it's an elongated training opportunity but like we did at the end part there we put it in something as close to rugby as we could we would finish with right we're going into the rugby game we carry that into it and let's put that under pressure so the bit i asked them about was uh, before they went into it, what's the one thing that you think has worked the best? Before they went in, and they came up with the um, draw and pass in their own words, draw and pass. That's why I was trying to pull out of them. What does that mean? What what's a draw? What's a pass? What, why would we do it? And, and they came up with it. Said, let's look at look at that. If I would probably work with them and say, if draw and pass is our standard of excellence or is our best behaviour with it, to answer the question, then how many times are we doing that in the, in the rugby setting? And if we're breaking it down and saying, are we doing it, we can either turn them over if they're not doing it or uh, allow the defence an upper hand if they're not doing some of the behaviours of excellence. Um, or we can just let them work out whether it works or doesn't work and then at the end of it they can come up with they should have a, a, an answer to that question so you know how many ways can we move the ball they've got a few and you know what's the best way of doing it today we found it was whatever it was and they've got a reference point to all the future times to do it so interestingly they said the best thing they did was around a five out of ten for their draw and pass which is what they wanted to focus on and they said the best things that we're doing is just spreading out and passing so there's there's a great link for the coaches when they get them and say right well spreading out and passing to them is absolutely fantastic that's what you want to be doing in the game if they're trying to get them into draw and pass there's a bit to work to link draw and pass to to that stuff so it gives you as coaches the reference point almost as a bit of a covert observation what they know when you ask them what they're of the development oriented approach. You did everything that's in the pillar. It was psychosocial oriented. It, uh, uh, you had uh, the focus on autonomy and self-regulation and um, you had a very good structure. It was like you are in the gym, but it's good structure. And the, the thing you see, what you do especially, is ask questions. Ask questions. Only ask 
surfaces. And you see the chips, they are gone. And if you see, you use pencil, you use paper, you use video here. Is that something in the game? Yes. Because if you see what the kids <coughs> did in the game, they were so engaged, at some point, we even didn't see us sitting at the side. We were so into the game, so perfectly done. You have to have great example. So do it like this. Ask questions. And uh, it's it's nice to see if they are so involved and uh, so moved by it and they play all the time. So they have also done the motor development skills all the time. So you don't if you do this approach. It doesn't uh, give you any less within the technical or uh, motor development orientation. So sometimes you have a uh, bit disruptive. You see? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So you are really part of iCoach Kids now. Thank you. And you too. <laughs> a big hand for those two.